Ja. Ja. Mal so raus, ja, aber nicht so viel bewegen, weil ich bin schon auf einer ziemlich niedrigen Zahl. Also 10. 10. Beim Ziehen sieht man aber immer komisch aus. Ne? Ja, und dann machen wir es danach. Kann ich weg ziehen und dann, wenn der Rauch kommt. Jetzt. Okay. Das muss nochmal ein Okay. Das sieht irgendwie besser aus ohne Blitz, aber der Fall, oder? Ja. Was sagt der Meister? Ja, schon. Schon, gell? Das sieht doch komisch aus, wenn du mit dem Zug drehst, oder jetzt, oder? Ja, Omos war da gefroren. Besser. Ja, angewärmt. So, jetzt. Jetzt richtig. Jetzt ist er viel bewegen, hör mal. Don't move too much, because I do without flesh. Don't move. Okay, exactly. really easy. Okay. okay, und dann relativ cool, ruhig, aber ziehen. Und jetzt. Wo ist es? Gibt schon wieder keinen Rauch. Achso. Einmal zumindest, oder? Achtung, und Action. Great. Nochmal. Und nochmal schwarz und weg, das Smiling. Ich dass unser Hoteldirektor schlecht wird. Zwischendurch mal trinken. Das ist das, was Arnold braucht. Und ich auch. Die goldene. The brown gold. Aber die nächsten zehn Tage nicht Brown Gold! Das ist das, was Arnold braucht. Wie weit er denn schon bekannt ist, denn ich kannte ihn nicht. Und er sagt, er penetriert jetzt erst den deutschen Markt mit der Hilfe von Ralf Möller, mit Arnold Schwarzenegger, mit der Tabakmesse, wo er gerade herkommt und das Ganze auch über die Humidore. Ähm, der eine oder andere wird vielleicht die Zigarre heute probieren dürfen und können. Und äh, I will hand over to you and um, you may continue my speech to introduce yourself what it's all about, um, what you do, and I learned from you just now that he is the only guy in the world who in fact takes the passion and time at night when he puts himself into a Zen mode and he rolls his little gold leaves around the cigar. So I would like to welcome you, Daniel. Thank you for coming, thank you for being here tonight. And um, the room is yours. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you for the invite. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It's really an honor and a pleasure to be in Munich, a town that I've just fallen in love with. This is uh, the second time I've been here, and uh, absolutely am passionate about Germany. And, uh, Ralph encouraged me to come here and uh, introduce me to, to Germany, and, uh, and I have a great partner in Cologne that sells our cigars and our humidors and I've been doing this for 30 years and uh, I feel like I just started today. Every day is, is a new adventure and fantastic experiences and through the cigar I've met my family, my friends, all things in my life have come through the, the love and the passion for the cigar. And you may wonder why a gold cigar and why covered in 24 karat pure gold, but it's a uh, It was something that was thought of for a friend's birthday. I wanted to make a great celebration and bring to the event uh, a cigar that none of us have smoked. So everybody was surprised with the idea of a, a gold wrapped cigar. And uh, we started talking immediately. The cigar has a way of, of uh, encouraging us to, to reflect on our lives and our dreams and our ambitions. And, uh, and so we smoked the gold cigar and uh, really celebrated what I call a golden moment. And uh, it, it, became, it became the vehicle and to help us transition from our, our world of obligations and our world of uh, challenges. And we, we go into a world of personal indulgence and uh, celebration. And so that's, that's where the gold cigar came, came from, just as a celebration for, for uh, really, really 
rewarding ourselves for all our hard work and all our passion and love. And, uh, and so now we have golden moments to celebrate with the golden cigar. <laughs> and uh, it's been a pleasure to make humidors for 30 years and be in the cigar world and meet fantastic people. And I, I really believe that there's something magic about smoking cigars. It, uh, I, I believe it's the, it's the modern day campfire. Because it's, it's, there's something in our DNA that we love fire and we love smoke. And I think it, to me it reminds, it reminds me of hanging out around the campfire where people can be human and share and talk and tell stories and talk about their dreams. And uh, the whole world seems to be uh, in, in perfect perspective when we're smoking our cigar. And the fact that when you meet someone who smokes cigars and you smoke cigars with them, the you become friends in such a quick way. You have such an amazing bond with people as if you're immediately a brother, immediately a sister. And, uh, and it's, really, it's really fun. And it, it's, it's interesting, too, where someone can be a carpenter like myself and can become friends with, with someone from different people from all walks of life, whether they're presidents or kings or governors of California or uh, actors or <laughs> uh, it's just it's 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 a it's one of those opportunities I think that you don't get to to yeah. share with any. You can drink with somebody and it's not the same feeling, and you don't have that same kind of camaraderie. So. When and I should smoke. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> 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 so, and what am I going to say? <laughs> 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 Whatever you're doing, we have to be very good. What's your biggest